let's say we have an alcohol with three carbon atoms so this becomes C3 H7 OH now if you were to write the molecular formula it would be C3 H8 and oh because you remember in the molecular formula you have to group all the specific types of atoms together now uh, C3 H8 O so we can have one isomer which is this or CH3 CH2 CH2 OH so I personally like to use skeletal formula but you can use structural formula if you want but if they specific uh, so if they don't mention in the question which type of for, uh, formula they want then you can draw any so in that in those cases I used to draw skeletal formula but if they're specific specifically asked fully displayed or structural or skeletal specifically then you will have to give it in terms of that okay so yeah uh, this is this is one isomer or we can have which is this isomer now you can see when you count in both of these the total number of atoms we get this molecular formula so uh, the molecular formula is uh, the, the, the uh, these two isomers belong to the same molecular formula but what has changed is that in this one the OH group was on the first carbon atom and in this one the OH group was on the second carbon atom so that's why this is called the the one on the, the one above is called propen one propen one all because first carbon atom and the one below is called propen 2 all because second carbon atom so propen 1 all and propen 2 all they are position isomers because we have changed the position of the functional group so chain we have done three types of structural isomerism chain isomerism functional group isomerism and position isomerism you should remember all of these now something new for us is stereo isomerism so um, stereo isomerism if you read the defin definition Stereo isomers are isomers with the same structural formula but different fully displayed formula due to different arrangements of atoms in space. Now you saw that um, you saw that in structural isomerism, in structural isomerism, the, they have the same molecular formula but they have different structural formula. But in stereo isomerism, the molecular formula is the same, the structural formula is the same but there are different arrangements uh, arrangements of atoms in space and this results in different fully displayed formula now let's see how this happens so there are two types of stereo isomerism geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism we are going to focus individually on both so geometric isomerism is only valid for alkenes just remember this that when we are talking about geometric isomerism only alkenes and uh, it occurs due to restricted rotation about the carbon carbon double bond so what this means is that for example if I have this molecule in fact actually let me first give you a proper molecule uh, like a proper s structural formula now what we need to know is uh, that this molecule can also be written like this can also be made like this we show the carbon carbon double bond explicitly and we don't show the rest of the bonds explicitly which like CH3 we don't have to expand it all we just show it like this so the thing is that uh, the carbon carbon double bond does not allow these molecules these these groups to rotate about the carbon carbon double bond so there is restricted rotation about the carbon carbon double bond you don't need to get into detail because uh, detail with the restricted rotation but this gives uh, this gives rise to two isomers which is one is this isomer and the other one is this isomer so you uh, so you can see that the h atoms in this one are on one side and the ch3 groups on this one are, are on one side so you can see that all similar groups are on one side now this is called the cis isomer so this this um uh, this 
compound was but two in because the alkene was on the second carbon atom, so but two in.